I'm going to talk about a trip that I took to Australia. But I really want to uh, just say how much I appreciate the opportunity to come and speak with you today. I was a little nervous about this because I've never given a speech that's being broadcast out to a bunch of people. And so I wanted to address that first. My name is G, and I was kind of worried that like maybe my jokes weren't going to be funny far away, or maybe they weren't going to quite get the energy. But I wanted people around the state to know that this is actually what I look like. The lighting in here is very strange. <laughs> and uh, and we, we can actually see you, too. You may not know this, but this is the Spokane feed. And uh, it looks like they dressed up for this. You guys didn't have to dress up. Well, thank you very much. This is going to be good. They look like they're excited and ready to go. Um, and I think we have another feed from um, uh, Puget Sound, I think it is. Yeah, they look like they're, yeah. <laughs> it looks like Puget Sound's ready to rock. So um, uh, I hope they can hear me up there. Uh, when I was four, I saw Star Wars. And when I was seven, my dad built me an X-Wing fighter made out of steel. And so ever since then, I've been pretty interested in where we're going and uh, the future. I've been teaching for 15 years professionally, or I don't know if that's the right word, certified. Uh, certifiable. And uh, that's been at levels uh, a high school. I was a high school instrumental music teacher for many years, and now I teach K through 8 technology. And uh, my teaching philosophy distilled is this word, educe, education, educe, to draw out, to draw out of kids. And uh, one year ago, today, as a matter of fact, completely coincidental, I took this picture. And this is uh, not a very good picture. Uh, <laughs> of a night scene in Sydney, Australia. But it represents a lot of important things to me. And I took it uh, after the first day of the Google Teacher Academy. Um, and because uh, I knew my life was going to be really different after that experience. And so I want to take you on that trip a little bit. It's going to be kind of fun, maybe sort of therapy for me, too. Um, Sydney and forward, a path innovation. Um, this presentation will have three sections. The first is going to be looking back at that experience that I had in Australia. Um, the second is kind of to take a peek around what's happening right now in the, in the educational landscape. And then three, I want to be really specific and give you as much as I can as we go forward that you can take away from even just this keynote, let alone this conference. So let's look back. A little over a year ago when I found out I got to go to the Google Teacher Academy, I sat across the dining room table with my mother and she asked me what Google was. And I said, well, it's kind of hard to explain, but let me show you one of the things they do. This is Google Earth. I'm sure many of you use this and are familiar with this. I think it's amazing. I said, so for instance, uh, this is Gearhart, Oregon. My mom has a little antique booth space in the antique mall in Gearhart. And I said, isn't this cool? And you pull this little yellow guy down, and you can go and like see what it looks like. And she was like, well, this is really cool. And so we went over, and we looked over at her teaching mall space, and I, or her uh, antique space. And I said, isn't that your? Is that your car right there? <laughs> and she said, yes, it is. And then we got closer. And it's a little hard for you to see, maybe. But, but there's a picture of her getting out of her car. It's right there. <laughs> so it appears to my mother that we just found her from space. <laughs> and I just played it off. Like, yeah, that's what it does. But it really was illustrative to me of the incredible disconnect between our generations, what has happened technologically, um, what has happened just sort of in our own philosophies about what teaching looks like. And then I started to think, wow, my students are that generation away from me now, most of them. And it made me really reflect on what is this going to look like in an educational world. And it made me think of this quote. I'll read it in case you can't see it. Even very recently, the elders could say to the youth, you know, I have been young and you never have been old. But today's young people can reply. You never have been young in the world I am young in, and you never can be. This break between generations is wholly new. It is planetary and universal. So in not very long, my son is going to sit across from the dining room table with me and blow my mind with what's going to happen. So I left sunny Portland about a year ago and went to Sydney, Australia. Google didn't pay for any of it, by the way. They've actually never given me any money. I'm kind of upset about that. But anyway, um, uh, I got selected to go to the Google Teacher Academy. And it was the most significant professional development experience of my life. And it was very inspirational. And I want to share you specifically what happened. 
Uh, first of all, Australia was pretty cool. Um, the first thing right out of the gate was the expectations that they had of us. And they asked the, the group assembled there, it was 50 teachers from all over the world, how many of you have ever been to a professional development session where they say, if you can only come away with just one thing from this and use it in your classroom? And we all kind of like, <laughs> and they just said, isn't that sad? And we kind of like thought, wow, that's really sad. It's true. They said, well, you're on Google time now. You know, innovation is something they try to systemize within Google. They're, they posted a $39 billion profit the year before. They're responsible for two-thirds of the world's searches. You know, they own YouTube, and I mean, it goes on. They don't have time to wait around and just come away from things with just one thing. So that immediately set the, set the bar extremely high, which was good, because it was expensive to go to Australia, so we kind of had high expectations. Um, but right out of the gate, that was, that was the bar that was set. The second thing that was really interesting was uh, just the culture at Google, which is, there's similarities between that and a lot of other places, but I wanted to kind of point out three things. One is the idea of 20% time, where they pay their employees and encourage them to utilize 20% of their work time on independently designed projects. Gmail is an example of a 20% time. Google Art Project, which I'm going to share with you in a few minutes, is another. 150 feet, you're never more than 150 feet from food. <laughs> Stocked kitchens every 150 feet. It was oh, how smart is that? And then just sort of the, just the culture of innovation that's constantly happening in their spaces and in their ideas. And then the third thing that was really mind blowing was the actual content. These are presentations from teachers all over the world. Things like utilizing Google Earth, which I loved, but utilizing it, to, turning it over to kids to have them demonstrate their understanding of what happens in a book by creating a literature trip where they where they're able to actually show what they've learned by walking us through where the characters went in the story. Same idea using Google Earth with math. Instead of uh, abstraction, how about let's measure where the epicenter of that earthquake was and where the Fukushima reactors are. And we can measure that out. Um, let's use crop circles to study these things instead of abstract uh, things on paper. Three-dimensional printers that were making working pro prototypes of complex machines that kids were designing. These are all things I had never even thought about, and uh, I didn't even know it was possible. This was a, a blogging and filmmaking project between two very different schools, one in Australia, one in New Zealand. Their kids matched up, they blogged with each other, and then they created films together and were sort of peer reviewing each other's work, created these amazing connections. When the earthquake hit in Christchurch, crushing the community, there was a school in a wealthy part of Australia that had a sensibility and a connection to that community that would never have happened in any other way. It was pretty inspiring to watch that. Google SketchUp is an incredible program that kids love. It's free. It's a three-dimensional rendering program. Really appeals to kids on the spectrum um, and is a utilizable pretty much K-12. I mean, maybe 312, but I've had second graders in SketchUp and they absolutely love it. Another idea that was just shotgunned out to us. Uh, th this is happening right now, virtual learning environments. Kids from all over the world in avatars inside of a virtual space teaching and learning together. Going to shipwrecks that would be very costly to recreate in a classroom. Uh, going to ancient time periods and recreating those environments there. These ideas were coming out as fast as they're coming out to you right now. And it went on for 10 hours. And I stumbled out into the street after we had dinner together, and I took this picture <laughs> because I realized how in the fishbowl I had been for so long. And because um, we work really hard, and we have our heads down, and we just we go. And um, getting a chance to get out into a bigger community and start to see the innovation that was happening, I still get a little bit of a chill thinking about how I felt on that night, seeing how inspiring the teaching was going on all over the world. The, and the, and the, the creative capacity that was out there, the imagination that was out there. Um, I knew my life was going to be different. I, just, I didn't know exactly how, but I just I knew that it wasn't going to be the same. The next day of the conference was called the Unconference, which was supposed to be like that free for all, you know, I guess we just kind of hang out together. And it was as intense as the first day, because now we could just do anything with all these people from all over the world and really sit down and say, what do you mean you recreated an ancient Roman ruin and then had a simulation inside? How did you do that? Like, we actually got to figure out some of those things that they did. And this was the beginning of my professional learning network, which I really didn't have in, in a serious way until this time. I'm in touch uh, with many of these people. I got a message from her uh, the other night uh, about this conference. 
this professional learning network has grown into several hundred people in and out of Google that have served to really revolutionize what I think of as a professional learning network and, and my own uh, reflections on my teaching. So when I came back to the beautiful Pacific Northwest, um, it's exactly what it looked like. Um, I don't know about up here in Vancouver and Portland, we get a lot of rain. <laughs> But I knew, I knew when I came back it was going to be really different. And uh, so that's the, that's the first part.